All right, for this video, we're gonna be talking about how to do the box blueprint. We're gonna do a top view, a front view, and a side view. We've got a pretty big piece of paper here, but we're gonna need the whole paper. If you start your blueprint in the wrong position, you're gonna end up not having enough space. The box that we're gonna be building is eight inches long, two and three quarters inches tall, and three and a quarter inches wide. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna first draw the top view. So that would be if you're looking down through the top. So that's eight inches wide this way by three and one fourth inches that way. So first thing we're gonna need to draw is the outside of our perimeter of our box. And we wanna make sure that we're drawing a perfect rectangle. For us, this, this piece of paper is already cut to a perfect rectangle, so we're going to use these 90 degree angles to help us to draw our box profile. I'm going to start one inch down from the top, which is, there's a dot at one inch, and I'm going to put another dot over here, one inch down. This way I can make a parallel line to the top of the page. My starting point is also going to be one inch over from the edge. So if I line up between these two dots right here and line up and then make a dot one inch over, so if I'm right here, the eight inch mark is on the edge of the page there. If I make a mark at seven, eight minus seven is one inch. So this dot right here is one inch over and one inch down from the top of the page. From there, if I go through all the dots that I marked, I will have a parallel line that's parallel to the top of the page. This is going to be eight inches long. So zero mark to eight. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to make a dot one inch over from right there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this ruler and I'm going to make a line that goes three fourths or three and one fourths inch from this. Through that dot to the corner. Three and one fourth. Now I need to find this one. If I just go over here and make a three and one fourth line right here, if it's not perfectly parallel to this one, then it will not be a 90 degree angle. So I could go anywhere here, which would be not good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a dot that's three and one fourth inches down. And then I'm going to make my eight inch line. And as long as I connect through that three and one fourth inch dot away, and I make it exactly eight inches, then this should still be three and one fourth. And now I have my eight by three and one fourth inch rectangle. So that's eight inches by three and one fourth inches. Don't forget your units. So this should be fitting right about there. All right, I'm now gonna do the front view of my box, which is this, which is still eight inches wide, but this time it's two and three quarters inches tall. So I'll do the same thing. Instead of using the top edge of the paper to make my parallel line, I'll use this line and go an inch down from that. Since this is parallel to this and this is parallel to that, this line should still be in line and parallel to the top edge of the paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go one inch down right here and I'm going to go one inch down from the end right here and I'm going to check if this is in line with this it should still be one inch away but it's good to do a check. All right it's looking good. I'm also going to make a dot over here that's one inch away for when I have to do the front view. Now I'll connect this which is still eight inches but this is going to be two and three fourths inches. I'm going to do the same thing for this corner down here that I did for that corner. And this is two and three quarters inches. Make a dot. And over here, this should be eight inches. The last part is going to be the side view. So if this is my front view, my side view will be right there. All right. 
So what I'm going to do is the same thing, one inch away. Keeping it consistent makes it look really neat. One inch away, make a dot, and one inch away, make a dot. I can measure from here to the top, which should be five and three quarters inches. And mine moved a little bit. Mine's five and five sixteenths. So I'll make sure that I make a dot at five and five sixteenths right here. I'll go from here to here at two and three quarters inches. And then I'll go over here at three and one fourth inches. And then I'll make the same thing for this corner, just like I did and that one. I'll go down two and three quarters inches. And I can go from here over three and one quarters inches. And as long as I'm going through that, that one right there, then it should align pretty darn well. I'm doing this in pen so that it shows up better on the page for the camera. But you should always be doing this in pencil just in case you make a mistake and you have to correct it. That's the outside of the box. In the next video, we'll be showing how to draw the inside of the box.